Rip and do the intro before the rooster crows at me. But anyway, today, uh, guys, as you can see by the title, we're doing a crawdad catching cook. So um, we're actually going to go catch some crawdads. If you don't know what that is, they're also called crayfish, crawdaddies, crawdads, just a bunch of stuff like that. Anyway, they're basically just like lobsters that live in creeks, swamps, and freshwater. But um, anyway, I'm going to go down here to the creek, and we're going to see if we can catch some crawdads. And then we're going to come back up here, and we're going to cook them up. He couldn't last for 30 seconds. Actually, I think that was about 30 seconds. Good job. All right, guys, we're down at the creek. I got my bucket and I got a net. What you want to look for with crawdads is like a rocky area. They like rocks more than sand, so I'm just going to walk around these rocks and kick them around and see if I see... Oh, wait. I'm going to kick them around like I just did, guys, and see if I see any. And I just saw like four swim back up into those leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my net and I'm just going to scoop right up under and see if I can get one of them. Whoa, no way. Guys, this is the first dip. And I caught three. Are they alive? They're like kind of... Oh yeah, he's alive. Yeah, they're good. I mean, they're not... I mean, they're not huge, but... It's a start. Anyway, I'm just going to keep walking up through these rocks. And then kick them around. And then we should see them like swim out. And then we can get them with a net. Most people, they would use like a trap. But I've never really had much good luck trapping in the creek for crawdads. So I'm going to just go through and I'm going to catch them like this. Oh, there's one. Oh, I got him. He's still a little small, but we'll take what we can get. I wonder if there's any more under this rock. Nope, we didn't get nothing. So far we have four. Alright guys, so this is all I'm doing to catch them. I'm just coming up through these rocks and just kicking around. And then every so often you'll see one shoot out. And then you just take your net and dip down, and then you got him. This one actually, he's a little bit bigger than the rest, I think. No, 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 come back here. I caught him, I think. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> you ain't getting away this time, buddy. Oh, and another tip, guys. You always want to go from downstream to upstream so that whenever you clog the water up, it don't, like, float down and then, you know, you can't see nothing. So you always want to start downstream and work your way upstream. Oh, my God, guys. I just lifted up that huge rock. See that crawdad? Oh, my God. That's huge. Oh, I got him. Oh, look how big that is, guys. That is a monster compared to the other ones. And he won't let go of the net. There we go. Look how much bigger he is. I wonder if there's any more into that rock. I'll tell you what, we're about to find out. I don't see none. I'm just going to keep looking in this area though, because that thing is huge. We need a bunch of them like that to eat. Yeah, actually there's one right there. He's really small, but I'm going to catch him anyway. Or maybe I won't catch him. There's one. That's pretty small. I'm going to leave him. There's another. There's small ones everywhere. There's one. Haha, <laughs> I got him. He's actually pretty small. I just kind of saw him running and I thought, hey, you're not getting away. Well, he got away anyway, so I guess that was pointless. There's one. Oh, oh I got double, guys doubled up they just like kind of intercepted and I just scooped them both up at the same time well let's get them in the bucket they're actually not that big either but I want to keep them because they look cool you got a little pile of crawdads in there I just dropped a rock on them and that's nice oh, and that's another thing guys you want to keep these like alive before you cook them because you want to cook them while they're alive I don't know exactly why but you're supposed to do that and then I know you're not supposed to eat them if they're dead before they were cooked Whoa, guys, look at this. I just caught a handful in one scoop. Now, all these are pretty small, and I'm not going to eat none of them, but still. 
figured out a good place to catch some little ones for like bait or something. There's some more. All right, I think all that's left is the small ones. So I'm actually gonna go back down the creek and see if I can catch some big ones. All right guys, so you remember that big one that I caught? Well, look what I found. A pincher the size of him. Like, that's like to a lobster. Like, how do you even do that? I don't understand. Well, maybe we can find that one. We'll just like cook as a lobster or something. I don't know. I found it right over here, so I'm just gonna go lift this up, see if there's one under it. Like, we're about to find out. There's something under it. I don't know if I caught it or not. No, I didn't. I swear, it's like as big as my hand. Okay, maybe it's not that big, but it's pretty big. Like, eats in snapping turtles, man. I bet he eats snapping turtles, I swear. Anyway, whenever we find Mr. Crawl, I guess we'll just, you know, eat him. If we find him, we probably won't though, because he's like a ghost. You get the idea. I basically did that for probably another 15 minutes. And I got a pretty good lot of crawdads. So I'm just going to pour these out here. And we're going to pick through and see which ones we're going to keep and which ones we're going to throw back. All right. Him we're definitely keeping because he's massive. Here's that one. That one. We'll throw him back. He's a soft shell. And that one's too small. And he's probably too small and too dirty, so we'll throw him back too. So we've got a total of three right now. <laughs> I guess we got three crawdads to cook, guys. So let's get to work. Guys, I'm cooking with the same little kind of canned heat thing, but I'm actually using this little stove thing I made. Did I actually make it for this? No. I found a piece of fencing laying around and figured, hey, that might work. Am I going to use it to cook on? Absolutely. But anyway, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and light the heat with this blowtorch again. Is it burning? I don't know, let's see. Oh, yep, that's definitely burning. And then the second thing we're going to do is come over here and I'm going to take the crawdads that we caught. I'm going to get them out of the water. And we're going to scrub them down or wash them off or something. I don't know yet. I'm over here taking my kiss and just kind of washing them. And that should be good. I don't see any dirt left on him. Now we're just going to take him. Well, actually, I don't know what we're going to do with him. I think we're just going to... Yeah, that'll work. We'll just dump this bucket over. Put him back in it. You know, this little guy and the other little guy the same way. Um, another thing, guys, whenever you pick them up, you want to pick them up like right behind the pinchers so they don't, you know, chop your hand off. I'm actually going to let that one pinch me just to let you guys see it and see what it'll do to me. Here you go, guys. I'm going to let him pinch me and just see how bad it hurts. Mmm, yeah, that, that, that's a, oh yeah, that really hurts. Mmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, did he bring the blood? No, he didn't. Let's let him do it again. Oh, he's got sharp pinchers. They're like, he's got points on the end of them or something, I swear. He's like a fish chopping machine. Oh, wow, he, he don't even care now. Well, okay, thank you for pinching me, little boy. I'm gonna eat you now. All right, so this is like the most simple catching cook I've done so far. What I'm gonna do first, I right, actually, I can use that to prepare stuff on now. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour my seasonings in it. And I'm just using some Cajun seasoning. A little bit of lemon pepper. Okay, a lot of bit of lemon pepper. And some garlic powder. Now I'm going to go over here and get some water. I don't know why I brought water. I have water tanks. And then I'm just going to fill it up. Almost to the top, actually. All right, that should be good. Now, we're just gonna come over here, ease it onto the fire, and let it start boiling. All right, now it's on the fire. Once that starts to boil, then we'll drop the crawdads in, because they do have to be alive, like I said before. They have to be alive whenever you cook them. I don't know why, but that's still what they say. And then, we'll just let that keep getting hot, and I'll be back with you when I drop them in. Water's looking pretty hot. Now what we're gonna do is take the live crawdads. We're just gonna drop them in while they're still alive. All right guys, and then you just wanna throw them in just like that. You can already see that their tails are already shriveling up and that one's already red. And they'll just do that for a little bit and, and then we'll get them out. Got the lid on it, we got the crawdads in it and we're just gonna let that set for about 15 minutes and simmer.
Actually, guys, I'm going to cook it on this fire because, well, if you ask me, that little thing ain't hot enough. And, um, well, nobody asked me, but I'm asking me. And I just kind of got bored when I was waiting. And so I just built a fire, and then I was like, hey, why don't I just cook on this? So, well, I'm going to cook on this. I took two buckets I found and uh, this little wire rack thing. And I just made me a little grill, and it's perfect. So we're just going to let that boil. I'm actually going to check it out and see what they look like. Show you guys. Well, if I can get it without dying. Oh, yeah, look at that. They're looking real good. So we got another five minutes or so on them. We'll let them keep cooking, and then I'll tell you guys what they taste like. All right, we're going to get these off the grill, let them set and cool down, and then we'll be back with you to see what they taste like. All right guys, now they're done sitting, we're gonna try them and see what they taste like. I'm gonna start with one of the small ones. And then the way you wanna do this is come right back here, pinch the tail, pull it off, just like that. And you wanna come back here and you just wanna start peeling these little rings. Peel it off like that. Come in here and then you just wanna pull the meat out. Some of them's a little tricky to get, but they will come out after wiggling enough. There you go. It's a little piece of meat. And then you eat that. And oh, and another thing. You want to get that intestine out. And then you're ready to go. Tastes like shrimp. That's what I compare it to anyway. It's like a mix between shrimp and lobster. And then I'm going to do the big one. This is a huge one. We still didn't get Mr. Crawl out there. Wish we could have got him. I bet he would have tasted real good. Anyway, pull it out. Discard that. Come back here. Start peeling these rings. Just like that. And then, or you can come back here to the back of the tail now. Twist it and it pulls the intestine out with it. And then you just do the same thing, you peel the rings, pull the meat out, and you're good to go. Anyway guys, it's really good. You should go try it yourself, and uh, just make sure you keep the crawdads alive before you cook them. And uh, well, that's all I have to say. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.